In this video, we're going to look at some basic MIDI control features in Pro Tools. You can access the basic MIDI control features both from the transport window and from the MIDI controls panel in the edit window toolbar. These controls include wait for note, metronome, MIDI merge, the tempo ruler enable, count off, meter, and tempo. You can see I have a basic session set up here with just a single instrument track that contains a drum virtual instrument. Before we get started, we're going to want to make sure that we create a click track in the session. This is simple to do in Pro Tools. Just go to the Track menu and choose Create Click Track. The first MIDI control we're going to look at is Wait for Note. If I enable Wait for Note and then begin recording on the track, you'll see that recording doesn't begin until a MIDI event is received. This enables you to begin recording and then take your time getting ready to play. You'll notice that the metronome will continue to click until I play a MIDI note. As soon as I play a note, the recording process will begin. The metronome itself can be configured by clicking Setup, Click Count Off, or by double clicking on the metronome in the Edit or Transport window. You typically won't need to make any changes here unless you're using a MIDI device as your click source. When count off is highlighted in the MIDI control section, Pro Tools counts off a specified number of bars before playing back a recording. To change the count off settings, you can go back to Setup, Click Count Off, or you can double click in the count off field. Here I can set the desired number of bars for the count off. When MIDI merge is selected, recorded MIDI data is merged with the existing MIDI data on the track. If it's deselected, newly recorded MIDI data will replace the existing material. Next, we'll look at the Tempo Ruler Enable control. When it's selected, Pro Tools will use the Tempo map as defined in the Tempo Ruler. When it's deselected, Pro Tools will switch to Manual Tempo and ignore information in the Tempo map. Next, we have the Meter Display. This display indicates the meter at the current position in the session. You can double-click the Meter Display to open the Meter Change dialog box. Finally, we have the Tempo field. This field indicates the tempo at the current location in the session. If you're in manual tempo mode, you can type a new tempo directly into this field. You can also select this field and tap in a tempo using the T key on the keyboard. 